This vintage tackle box is packed with old school gold. And today on Retro Bassin, we're gonna be giving it away. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Hopefully everyone is having a great holiday season out there in Bassin Budland. Uh, on this episode of Retro Bassin, we're gonna be doing something that's, I guess, become a little bit of a retro tradition around here. And that is we are gonna be doing a subscriber giveaway for an old school tackle box packed with some vintage lures. If you've seen the channel, if you've been around here for a little bit, you kind of know that we like to fish at old school just about every weekend. Well, in the course of filming this little YouTube channel, I do come across some great vintage, antique, and old school inspired lures. So I've taken my favorites from 2022, placed them in this vintage Umco tackle box, and at the end of the video, I will tell you how to enter to win this thing. It is crazy how time flies and 2022 is almost in the history books. Well, 2022 on the Retro Bassin Show started out with a bang thanks to a subscriber who tipped us off on perhaps the greatest fishing yard sale you will ever find located just outside of Bastrop, Texas. There we met Cecil who runs Cecil's Tackle Shop out of his house and about four or five different garages and sheds on the property. Well, a few of the favorites that I picked up during that little episode are here. First one is a vintage storm that I picked up. Uh, this is a little bit more of a striper bait and it's probably seen some better days, but you do not get your eyes on these things too often these days. Also, while I was at Cecil's Tackle Shop, I found a box full of some nice OG bombers with the old school metal lip. Uh, here's one in one of my favorite colors that I picked up that day. Listen to that rattle. <laughs> Another place that I spent a good deal of time in 2022 is one of my favorite tackle shops and that is Bacon's Tackle in Shreveport, Louisiana. We did a number of really cool episodes with owner Michael Bacon and during what I think was just a standard walkthrough of the tackle shop, I discovered boxes and boxes of rattle traps sold in bulk without the hooks. I ended up picking up a few of those for sure, and uh, I'm gonna throw a couple into this little giveaway. Uh, here's an OG uh, half ounce size diving rattle trap in a nice crawl pattern. No hooks, but you gotta provide those yourself. And also a really cool bleeding tequila shad uh, rattle trap in a half ounce size. I don't know that they make this color anymore, and yeah, this definitely was a hot color for me this year. So uh, those are two rattle traps from Bacon's in the old box. If you ever wonder whether or not I read the comments, I absolutely read each and every one. And the next stop on this little tackle tour came to us from the comment section of a video. Somebody recommended the next time I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, I check out Phoenix Fishing Supply. Well, I met with the owner, Gowdy, who was a super cool dude. We spent the day together. He even bought me lunch, and we did a little walkthrough of the shop. While there, I discovered a, in the discount section, of course, some OG buzz baits. Well, here is uh, one of the favorite ones that I picked up. It is a cool double-bladed buzz bait. It's got a nice flat planing head and OG vinyl skirt. <laughs> So thank you, Gowdy, for sending this, and we will throw one of these in the old box. I don't always shop at Walmart, but when I do, I look for anything old school inspired. And thanks to my buddy Todd over at the Bass and 101 YouTube channel, uh, I was informed that Walmart had a special bin of OG Cotton Cordell baits that you could get for some really good deals. Here are a couple of the baits that I picked up from the bin. One is a OG inspired a Cotton Cordell Grappler Shad in a nice crawfish pattern. Yeah, that's a better angle. And also a nice bluegill pattern Big O Crankbait. So both of these I picked up at that film trip to Walmart and hopefully you guys enjoy those. While I was there, I picked up this little pack from Cream Lures, a company that I definitely need to fish with more and also perhaps do a walkthrough of their shop in Tyler, Texas. Uh, but this is a little hard bake kit with five mini lipless crankbaits. 
I'd been meaning to join the NFL CC for some time, and in 2022, I finally got off my keister, not only signed up, but also attended their national show in Springfield, Illinois. There we met up with Big O aficionado Mark Ng, who not only shared his extensive knowledge and passion of that bait, but also was my wingman for the show. In commemoration of that episode, I am going to include this, which is an OG-inspired Big O crankbait. Uh, this is one of the models from BASS. Uh, I've gone ahead and stamped a little retro bassin uh, stamp on the back. And here's the bait. It is a very similar color pattern to the original Fred C. Young baits. Of course, it is in plastic. And there you can see a mock signature, Fred C. Young, as well as the date, which says 1967. And while we're at it, you know what? Uh, since Fred signed one side of this bait, old Retro will sign the other. <laughs> And I'll also date it 2022. <laughs> I like to take my little bass and buds fishing whenever possible. And this summer I took Carolina Whalen out on Lake Austin, throwing some inline spinners that I picked up from Simple Spinners. These are nice handmade baits. I do follow them on Instagram. And here is one that I picked up in a nice little patriotic color, a little red, white, and blue action. So speaking of panfish, I got to throw some OG Rebels this summer for some really aggressive green sunfish just outside my house in Dripping Springs, Texas. We had a blast catching some of these fish on just about every old school Rebel Ultralight I could think of. And in commemoration for that, I'm gonna throw in this one, which is one of my favorite ones that I threw that day a Rebel Helgramite. This is a really unique sinking bait, and yeah, this thing was a total blast to fish, and ooh, check out that color. It's like a very wintry, washed out Helgramite. Speaking of Rebel, I can't tell you how pumped I was when I went to my local Academy Sports and saw an exclusive Rebel 2-pack, including both a Wee Crawl as well as an exclusive Pop Bar. A lot of the Bass and Buds that commented on that video said that this pack was hard to find. Either it wasn't at their local academy or they don't happen to have an academy sports near them. So I am going to throw in a Rebel 2 pack into this giveaway. I did take a little hiatus from fishing this summer, but when I got back on the water, I definitely was throwing some OG crankbaits with a vengeance on Lake Travis. One of the most cool days I had out there was throwing an old school bomber flat A for some pretty nice chunks on Lake Travis. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in this flat A I recently picked up from Cabela's. It is a uh, OG inspired bait for sure, the shallow flat A in a nice sort of summer crawl pattern. Much like that little mini series on old school crankbaits, when I get on a kick, I tend to run it into the ground a little bit. And the same could definitely be said for my obsession with all things Japan, specifically Japanese custom lore makers with JDM creations. Did an episode on Tsunami Lures, and yeah, this was one of the funnest lore companies that I think I've seen in a long, long time. Make everything from lures to apparel. And here is a genuine Mighty Arrow Tsunami Lure topwater that we're gonna include in this little giveaway. But looking back on the year, and yeah, it was a good year with uh, almost 50 episodes so far. Uh, without a doubt, the most fun I had was fish with my Bass and Buds, John and Lindy of Small Water Charters over at Headwaters. We had a blast throwing some old school soft plastic jerk baits, as well as banjo minnows for bass and even did a little stalking of one of my heroes, Roland Martin. A few weeks later, John actually sent me a little video of Roland Martin giving a shout out to Retro Bassin. So with much respect to Small Water Charters and Mr. Roland Martin, I am going to include this. A little Small Water Charters button, as well as a pack of genuine Roland Martin, as seen on TV, helicopter lures. Somehow, we actually have never thrown this bait when John, Lindy, and I have fished together, but I am going to be heading out to Florida after Christmas, so if you want to see John and Lindy at Smallwater Charters, 
throw a little helicopter lure action, drop a comment down below, and we'll try to make that happen. Before I talk about how to enter to win this box, uh, I do want to give a little plug for the new gear over at Texas Provisions. As you can see, I am wearing a newly minted old school heather blue bass and bud t-shirt as well as a hat. Uh, we've got all the different sizes from medium on up to 3XL as well as I think almost like a dozen different color hats. So head on over to txprovisions.com. I'll also drop a link down below. And if you get your orders in, I will do my best to get them to you in time for the holidays. So how do you enter to win this tackle box? Well, like our other giveaways, all you have to do is drop a comment down below in the comment section. And in a week or two, I will use a random comment selector to pick a winner and announce it on the channel. If you're looking for more old school content, click right here. Otherwise, I'll see you right back here, same time, same place next week. Until then, keep your carpet side up. Have a happy holiday. And definitely, fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.